In a perfect world, pickup truck enthusiasts and their mothers will always go for the top spec model. But such is not the case and in reality, a lot of these people would probably go for this, the Mitsubishi Triton GLS 4x2 Automatic. Now in this video, we get to check out the current top spec two-wheel drive Triton in the Philippines. Let's do this. Contrary to popular belief, mid-size pickup trucks also appeal to people who are not into overlanding or off-road trips. There is a sizable chunk of people out there who use these trucks for their intended purpose, which is to haul stuff. Contractors, architects, and businessmen all need that truck bed but probably won't need the 4x4 system too much. That's where the Mitsubishi Triton GLS 4x2 comes into play. At 1,582,000 Philippine pesos, the Triton GLS offers a cost-effective option that can haul cargo without sacrificing comfort and convenience. So, is the Triton GLS 4x2 the best variant in the lineup? Let's find out. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. Now the first thing that you'll notice with the Triton GLS is the overall size. You see, it's not as wide as the top spec Triton Athlete 4x4 or even some of the other mid-size pickup truck contenders in the Philippines today. Now, even if it's not as wide as these other mid-size pickup trucks, it is still a little bit wider than the previous gen Mitsubishi Strada. And if you think about it, that slimmer profile of the Triton GLS means that it's actually easier to drive around the city. So that would be perfect if you are a contractor or an architect who's making his way from one job site to the other. Now when we check out the, the overall design cues of the front fascia here, you'll see that we still have that squared out and bold front grille here, although it's now finished in a glossy black instead of the body color uh, front grille that can be found in the Athlete uh, 4x4. And we also have the dynamic shield um, design elements here on the side, and we also have full LED DRLs, full LED headlights, as well as LED fog lights. Here on the side, we don't get the fancy plastic claddings that can be found in the top spec Triton Athlete 4x4 because, well, the Triton GLS is really more of a workhorse pickup truck. We do get a pair of step boards though, but we also lose the roof rails, although I notice we get a style bar here on the truck bed, although I'm not really sure if this is a standard equipment for the uh, Triton GLS. So yeah, it's best for you to inquire with your nearest Mitsubishi dealership in order to find out if this is standard or if it's an optional piece of kit. The wheels and tires though are the same size as the Triton Athlete 4x4 because we have 18-inch alloy wheels here although they are finished in a gunmetal silver rather than an all-black affair. Now behind those wheels, we get also the same mechanical bits as the Triton Athlete 4x4. Uh, that means that we get disc brakes up front, drum brakes at the back, and for the suspension, it rides on double wishbones up front and leaf springs at the back. Now the ground clearance is also the same as the top spec uh, Triton Athlete 4x4 because the ground clearance of this baby right here stands at 220 millimeters. When you go over to the rear, you will see a pretty typical mid-sized truck bed rear end design here with LED taillight units, although we don't get an assisted lift gate here, so that's also something that you have to keep in mind. Now we do have the standard bed liner here, and we also have a payload capacity of around 985 or 986 kilos, so that is a pretty decent number. However, if you'll notice, the truck bed is also a bit on the low side here, which is an advantage, especially for shorter dudes like myself, because, well, that means that it's going to be easier for me to climb in and climb out of this truck bed if ever I need to get some stuff. Yeah. 
All right, so the cabin layout of the Triton GLS is pretty much the same as the one found in the top spec um, Triton Athlete 4x4, except we don't get the brown and black uh, Alcantara and leather seats here. Rather, we have this black fabric seats and we also don't have any power adjustments here, but the seats are on the comfortable side. So yeah, it's not really a big deal breaker for me. However, we do have a leather wrap steering wheel here. That's a plus. And the steering wheel also tilts and it also telescopes. Now we have a similar uh, instrument gauge cluster layout here. It's a combination of analog and digital. And we also have the same infotainment system that's found in the top spec Triton Athlete 4x4. You see, we have a 9-inch touchscreen infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and the image of a 360-degree view camera. Now, in terms of safety though, well, that's where the Triton GLS takes a bit of a step back because as you're seeing on your screen, well, we only have four airbags here and we also lose the hill descent control. So that's a bit of a bummer for me, but then, well, it is what it is. Now, of course, we don't have the, um, the rotary knob for your four-wheel drive selector here, being a 4x2 model. And we also don't get the seven drive modes found in the Triton Athlete 4x4. However, um, it's still the same layout. We have a fully automatic uh, climate control system here. We have uh, mostly an all-black affair here inside. But the more important question here is, how is this Triton GLS light to drive? So now it's time to take it out for a quick test drive to see how well this baby performs. All right, guys, so this is a quick test drive of the Triton GLS 4x2 automatic in order to get a feel of that, of the power of that 2.4 liter turbo diesel engine here. You see, most of you would think that this is a carryover engine from the previous generation Strada, but apparently that, my friends, is not really the case. Uh, you see, we have one more horsepower here at 180 horses and we also have uh, 430 newton meters of torque. Now, you'd probably say that, yeah, that 430 newton meters of torque is the same figure as the previous gen Strada, but maximum torque comes in uh, a bit earlier than the previous gen Strada and we also have a bit of a fatter uh, torque band here. So this, my friends, is a different engine from before. So that is actually a piece of good news. Now, the, if you're looking for what's uh, carried over though, well, we still have the same six-speed automatic transmission here from the previous gen. And if you're wondering why it's still a six-speed and not, let's say, the eight-speed found in the Montero, well, apparently the six-speed automatic transmission is a tad bit lighter. So that means that this uh, Triton GLS will have a much better overall driving performance and I can attest to that see we're going up an uphill road here now and this truck does not feel heavy it does not feel heavy at all it feels very light it feels nimble now we're going down a downhill road here and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go around this cul-de-sac yep. braking power is also really good I love that because this uh, Triton is actually one of the lighter mid-size pickup trucks in the market today. So we're going up an uphill road here again. I'm just going to show you. See? And we have traction control going wild because the engine is so eager to put the power down. The transmission is so eager to put the power down here. So uh, we have uh, you know, a, a really performance-oriented mid-size pickup truck in the Triton GLS. Now, you might ask me, like, what's the fuel economy figures? Uh, how does it drive on the highway? Well, dude, you'll have to wait for my full driving review video to come out, which will happen very soon. So that, my friends, is your cue to click that subscribe button uh, if you're not yet subscribed to Reagan's Rides. Anyway, I think now it's time for our outro. The Triton GLS may not be a 4x2 athlete, but given its feature set and capabilities, it holds a lot of promise. It's nice to see that the Mitsubishi Triton is now back in the game, and with this Triton GLS, it looks like Mitsubishi has another strong contender in the midsize truck wars. Thanks for watching.